she's back. <laughs> um, it's a Tuesday. It's a Tuesday, July 20th, uh, 2021. It's uh, 7.42 p.m. Uh, just came from electrolysis. And I don't know. The speaker is getting worse and worse. That one is like from here. Well, I guess there's too many phones, I guess. But there's a lot of phones. Oh, this is a good one. I think you changed the brand. This is just look better. And I made my coffee. Well, I actually went to the Bronx Works and I, I fill it up over there, so it's mixed. Now it's half and half. <laughs> um, yeah, I had a, I had a one-on-one -on -one session with a new um, caseworker, I guess. New, I don't know, it's new to us. I don't know, she might be there for 40 years. I don't know. She saw that day, she saw like 12 people it's for the metro car <laughs> and got talked to. I'm like, well, you know what? I just, you know, I told her about, I forgot what I told her. I told her about the catalog that I bought. I still pull out. The catalog I, I, I bought the clothes and say, I'm not planning to buy any money orders just to to pay them. And then um I went downtown. I had to walk for a little while because I was early. I was early. Marky! You don't say hi no more? Other, you look so much like a friend of mine. Your name is not Mark, right? You might be, you have a twin. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry. You look so much like somebody I used to know. I'm sorry, let me turn this thing down because, I'm sorry, what did you say? Brooke. Brooke, I thought your name was Mark, I'm sorry. <laughs> Frank, okay. Yeah, maybe if you take the mask and then I would like, when you started talking, that's when I knew. I asked. <laughs> Sorry. Cheers. <laughs> you see? You see, if everybody had that outlook in life. Well, I try to be happy at all times. There you go. Look out for the bright side. After the year we had in 2020, and then all these shootings, I try to be nice to everybody. Was it bad around here? It's still going on. It's still going on. Well, because I don't want to get injected. <laughs> I've seen a lot of people they're like having really bad side effects. I took my month and a half ago and the worst side effect I got was a little too hyper. Well, what about in 20 years? 30 years from now? I can't worry about 30 years because I'm just really worried about right now. Gonna in 30 years. No, I don't want to have to buy diapers in 20 years something, you know, like. Well, unfortunately, regardless of how well we take our bodies, we're going to end up buying diapers. Yes, but not in 20 years. Well, no, not you, unfortunately. But I'm saying, I'm, I'm, the longer we, we, we progress, the older we get, once we get like 60, 70, yeah. I got in on, she's a knockout. If you look at her, she looks like a mom. What? If she says, hi, two. I was sitting there uh, yesterday, and I saw that, they, that it was coming like this massive 
a vapor like white cloud from the ground. You have been noticed every day it's cloudy, every day is overcast. Yeah, that's not natural. Of course not. There's no there's no hurricanes. There's no is there a hurricane the over last here? One was Elsa, yeah, but that was a few days ago, but that hasn't been but have you noticed that the, the planes that you said these trails in the back? Oh yes, yes, yes. The but I think that wasn't enough for them. You know what I suspect? That they don't have enough um, power, like electricity. So they don't want people to turn on the AC to have another outage. Remember those outages we used to have? So they found a way, and I took the video. I took the video because I saw it was massive, and it was white, 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 white. Huh? Yesterday. I was in here like in around one or two. I was sitting over there. Like, I guess it was like around Yonkers, I don't know. Or some, but it was coming from the ground. This massive white stuff. It's like, oh. When the gets very hot and it rains, you see. Oh, yeah, yeah, I've seen No, no, no. This was solid white body. And, and, and it came out really fast. And then it got quiet. You notice, if you look at the sky, look up up there. You know, not today because everything is white. Yeah, it's like. That's what they want. They want to make everything white again. <laughs> I don't know. It's freaking me out. Huh? Brooke. Brooke. Yeah, because I, I, I go to the beach all the time. This is like the first time I come here. You don't see me in the summer. No, I'm across the bridge. Dykeman. I'm on Dykeman. Yeah, but um, I never come here in the summertime because every day I go to the beach. <laughs> All the rain going on, so the rain just maybe, maybe 10 times tops, and it's uh, July 20th, and I don't have money to go to Miami in the winter. <laughs> I'm pissed. And even if you did have Miami, when you go to Miami, you got a quarantine day, you can't really do nothing. Miami right now is worse than us. Much what? Worse than us. Is the, the sky worse? No, everything. COVID, there's no work. Oh. Oh yeah, they don't have social programs. If you're an employee, you're like whatever, you're on your own. Oh yeah, there's mosquitoes here? They are... Ah. You don't get it? Yeah, they love me. Or they hate me. Maybe that was a fly. A Mexico? Si, yo soy mexicano. Como yo no? Quién? No, no. I, uh, in New York, in, in Dykeman, I bought a co-op um, 94. No, I've been in, since 94. I've been in the same place. Dykeman. Yeah. Yeah, we don't have parks like this. We don't have. The last thing I want to talk about is your Mexico. Well, you gotta go. You gotta go to Mexico. You see. You see, colonizers, they didn't respect nowhere. They went, the South was, uh, they have more time to organize. You know, remember they came to Mexico City to Tenochtitlan? So that was, you know, more of a surprise, so to speak. Uh, but, but the Mayans, they was very well organized. So a lot of, a lot of people survived. Uh, Guadalajara, Central, Central West, yeah. Woo. Yeah, we don't have the weather, you know, like here, so that's no, why I, I hate this weather, you know. I mean, I like it hot all year. But this year I have to come out in the winter. I was coming even in the winter, freezing my ass. So I, I got so depressed, I didn't want to be in the house. Yeah, I, I bought two coats <laughs> so I can come here, you know. Oh. Ooh. Say, well, no, that's okay. Yeah, I only wear, like, you know, like, natural, I guess. I don't even trust those screens no more. Why not? Because, I mean, I hear that people, they all, uh, that use stuff, they are, they get to have problems. You want vinegar? Vinegar is much better. But. You're right, vinegar is better because it's acid. 
Yeah, it's natural. And let's see if for the itching, because these mosquitoes or, or flies, I don't know. So I'm itching really bad. Oh, wow. So, it's burning. That's oh. what I was thinking of my because see, mosquitoes are like people, they get to know people. Oh. They go help me because I'm always sitting here, I drink my beer, I have my music, but I do it for a while. I heard it's a tip, certain type of blood so, that they like. I come here a lot. I go to the beach and the flies, you know, you have to move around because the damn flies is like, we don't have those in Mexico. Yeah. Yeah, but I'm like, I don't want to take the people, you know, like I'd rather point the camera over here because I like to talk to myself, but, well, it's a phone, but. Uh, is, I mean, it's a much, much more simple than to, than people. Much more simple than people. You cannot see anything in the sky. I wish I had a park like this, you know, by my house. Nagel. Nagle. Well, they, they tell you to talk one way or another. Mm. So you got stories, huh? You got stories. You was born here, right? Can you imagine? I was born in my hands, but raised in the Bronx. So I know the Bronx like the back of my hand. Yeah. I mean, even 10 years ago, it was very different, right? What was it? Nothing? No, it was a park, but it was very like. I gotta put it in. A lot of drugs, a lot of drinking, loud people. Come again, they don't say. I have a way to teach you the people, but the people are supposed to be here. So I'm going to change that people. It's a bad people. But then I get BBC, I get more of it, and they just grow. Yeah, I just discovered this like a couple of years ago. I didn't even know like, oh my God. And ever since then I come <laughs> all the time. Like, I usually, in the winter I come in the morning. But they get the benches, they get too hot. So I have to come at night. So you are District 14, huh? I believe so. Who won? Because I cannot find the election results Richie anywhere. <laughs> ah, Richie yeah. Torres is like, come on, duh. No, he's a good kid. He's a good kid, sweetheart. One, he, it's because of him. This he's a friend of Israel. Give me a break. What is it? Israel, in Africa. Oh, you mean the, the Jews? Well, the That's why he was appointed there. Remember, the Jewish people own half of New York City. So, aunque uno no quiera, sin falta respeto, para progresar, you have to kiss the ass, baby. Mm. And then he's a young politician that knows how to do it. This is the beginning of the end. With the with the positive changes, and come white people. <laughs> That's why I like my street. It's filthy and you no know, crackers. Like, otherwise, I would have been kicked out. Yeah. Straight up, straight hood, baby. Because they put a, they you know it's a little street. You know hillside. That's where I live at on hillside. 
You know, everybody before they leave, they clean their car and they dump everything in the city. They never will because people, they dump everything in the street. Before they leave the park, they park the cars, they park the cars, and in the morning, they take out diapers, everything. Plus, they dump stoves, refrigerators, toilets, everything. It's a dumpster. You know. La pura basura no puede ni caminar. No, yo me voy en la noche. Yo nunca he estado en la noche aquí. Ya se va a hacer noche. Sí, pues va a oscurecer. Ahorita te puedes quedar tarde. Porque hay luz. Ya cuando se va el alumno ya no. Porque... Pero me sirve de ejercicio porque me voy caminando. Vengo, iba. Sí, claro. No, me voy aquí por... Te digo, vengo a un programa aquí, Bronx Works. ¿Quieres una botella? Sí, porque yo ya tengo. Otra cosa, ¿tú dices que estás en Bronx Works? Porque yo voy a este programa. Oh, creo que usted trabaja para ir para No, yo voy. Oh, gracias, mamoy. You're welcome. Ah, ya tiene botella. Está bonito el color, pero. Ya tengo. Ahí está el teléfono, creo, ¿no? En el DC. Hay muchos, hay muchos Bronx Works. No, porque el problema es como te dije, yo soy nacido aquí, criado aquí, tengo todo el papel, pero la pandemia lo ha hecho difícil para conseguir trabajo. They are everywhere. All right, well, every time I walk, I'm like, oh, there's another one. Oh, there's another one. I go to Tremont. I go to East Tremont. And the Grand Concourse. Dykeman is the best. Dykeman is the best. Thank you. Que te sirva. And you got the little hook, so you can go. And it's too much. They have to make it smaller for my bag, you know? I have a nice cup, but it's too big. I bought it at Costco. So I end up using how is this? Oh my god. Yo no trabajo por un sueldo. Yo trabajo por amor. ¿Cómo fue? ¿Cómo fue? Por amor a México, por amor a África. Pues trabajo, pre trabajo preparándome. Trabajo preparándome y estar lista para cuando empiece la revolución. A organizar a las masas. Y todo eso porque ya va a venir, vas a ver. Bueno, no, ahorita no, 10 años por ahí, pero ya se viene. Como dicen ustedes, se va a aprender el peo. Te digo, así que, te digo, hay que buscar siempre liberación. Yo sé que mucha gente no le interesa que quieran estar igual que yo en el welfare y ya, ¿no? Pero no. O con un trabajito, ¿tú crees? Ay, come mierda.
Yo soy fidelista. No joda. Soy comunista, fidelista, chavista, obradorista, africanista. También. Sí, no, 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 yo, yo, yo ya. Dígate, es que ya ahora la ignorancia es una opción, tú sabes. Porque ya hay tantas, fíjate, they have lectures online that it was only accessible to a very few who used to get to, to those degrees in college. And now they got them online. Nobody, nobody take advantage of that. So we can find out the truth, the shit that they're doing to us. Yo te recomiendo que veas este documental the, from the BBC. It's called A Century of the Self. A century, if you can put it on your phone, a century of the self. They tell you everything that they do with psychology. They tell us, you know, it's social engineering. They know how we're going to act, when we're going to act. A century of the self. How they invented the self. The self? The self, yeah. S -E -L -F? Yeah, the self. Yeah. It's a documentary, four-hour documentary from the British Broadcasting Company. BBC. Yeah, and they're and it's a tell-all. They're telling us like, you know, but it should be. We should be all be angry for all this shit that they. Ah. Como que qué? Cuando vengo por ese estado otra vez. Yo vengo aquí todos los días. No, que cuando vengo por estar show esto otra vez. Oh, no está en YouTube. Oh, está en YouTube. And YouTube. That's why I say like your shit. I guess they, they show it on television in London, but they also put it on online. And don't share it on, on social media, please, because they're going to delete it. Every time I tell somebody, like, oh, the next week is gone. <laughs> it's like, oh. Yo también fumo. No, yo también fumo. No, pues para vivir en Nueva York, digo. Me gusta ya. <risa> no, si sí estamos hablando bien porque tenemos que cuidar la distancia de todos modos, ya ves. Tú sabes cuánta gente se ha muerto con, con todo eso. O sea, o sea, ¿cómo le llamas una vacuna? No, yo sé, pero ¿cómo se muere la gente? Fíjate, ahorita yo vine de una cita y sus abuelitos... En, es que cada quien es diferente. Una señora, una amiga de nosotros, una mexicana, te digo, dejó cuatro niños huérfanos. Con la segunda de la modernización. Porque, me digo, o sea, y fíjate, ahorita que viene la, la cita que tenía, la muchacha tiene a sus abuelitos en Miami. Se pues la pusieron y ahorita están vomitando y que no saben qué es lo que es. Dice que porque ya están viejitas. Sí, oye, pero pues apenas tiene 70 años. Y cinco años, o sea, digo, pero pues parece ser que ya se van. Te digo. ¿Y de qué quieres hablar? A ver. 